What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles, the YouTube channel. Today is Expanded Thursday, and there's a lot of people requesting to play Salazzle, and I think this is probably the best way to play Salazzle, unless there's another way and I just don't see it. But let me know down below if there's a different way to play Salazzle and you think I'm wrong. Uh, but today we're going to play Salazzle with the Ninetales. Um, this Ninetales has been played a lot with the Moongus. Uh, we've seen that before, but today we're going to partner with the new with the new friend, and that is going to be Salazzle. Uh, Salazzle has the Hot Poison ability. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may leave your opponent's act Pokemon burned and poisoned. And that is going to be the key there. And the reason why this is going to work is because of Ninetales Hacks Flame. It does 20 and it does 50 more damage for each special condition affecting the defending Pokemon. So they're affected by burn and poison. You do 120. And then with the burn, 130, 40, and the poison, 150. Then with the choice band, 180. Uh, with Verbeek City Gym, an additional 20, so 200. And the Fresca Gooey, you can do 220. So you can do 220. There's a bunch of different ways to manipulate the math, like Verbeek City Gym, choice band, um, Kikui. There's a, so you can take knockouts on EXs, and that's why this deck's going to strive. It needs one energy. And uh, Ninetales also has a really good ability, Bright Look. Uh, we kind of saw this today with uh, later on uh, early this week with uh, Bloodthirsty Eyes, uh, Lycanroc. Rock. So Bright Look taking advantage of as well, bring a Pokemon off the bench, take knockouts on them, um, and yeah, that's gonna be the plan today. Use the good old Hot Poison, burn and poison them, and use the Hex Flame to knock them out. Bright Look to bring Pokemon off the bench, and you're gonna be good to go. Now you used to play Moongus. Uh, we'll show that up just real quick if you have no idea what I'm talking about. Um, Amoongus is right here. It's got the Spore Prize. When you play this Pokemon from your hand, your, po your active Pokemon is confused and poisoned. So it's, it's kind of the same thing, except they're burned, and that burn doesn't do it. The burn is automatically while confusion is a coin flip. So that's great. You do get the guarantee 20, but then they flip a coin if has, they're not burned anymore. If tells, they're still burned. Um, so getting that guarantee 20 can help you take those knockouts, which I think Salazzle is a little bit better that way, but you can't use a Love Ball to get Salazzle like you can Amoongus. Uh, so 4-4 four, four, Salazzle and a 4-4 four, four, Ninetales. I wish you could play a lone Ninetales. That would be really funny. Beacon seems like it would be really broken. But a lone Vulpix cannot evolve into uh, regular Ninetales, unfortunately. Now, we do play one Shame and one type of Lele. Um, later on in the video, I talk about how we can, might cut the type of Lele for other cards. Um, just because the Love Ball count might help us out a little bit. But Tapu Lele is just, I think... So the, the other card you can play besides Tapu Lele, we'll just talk about right now, is Jirachi. Jirachi does have 90 HP, and you can one attack, you can still use, um, you know, start... A, a, I can't remember what Jirachi's ability is called right now. Um, but you can use Jirachi instead, and has a stellar guidance to search for a supporter card. It has 90 HP, so then you can use your Love Ball to get it out. Um... I don't know which one's better. Jirachi has 90 HP. Tapu Lele has 170. He doesn't have weakness. Jirachi does have weakness. So it's definitely a weird trade-off. I think Love Ball for Jirachi is a little bit better, especially since we play 3. But who knows. Uh, one Shame, of course, to help set up. So 4-4, four, 4-4, four, 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 one, 1-1. One. We need mo as most consistency as possible. So one Computer Search for consistency reasons. 3 Devolution Spray. We could play 4, but you only need to take 3 Knockouts on the Axis and you're going to win the game. Three love ball, and I play a split of rescue stretcher and super rod. Uh, rescue stretcher can guarantee you Pokemon and discard pile in your hand or shuffle three back in your deck. And super rod is, of course, get back fire energies. You're gonna notice we're not playing any flow stones or switches or anything. We're just gonna be like, whatever. Everybody has one retreat cost. Don't care about this. Uh, literally, everybody has one retreat cost. Salazzle has one, and Ninetales has one, Bulpix has one, and Salandite has one. So, everybody has one retreat cost. So, you, you have to like attach for your first turn anyway. Because you can't attack turn one unless we Wally, and Wally wouldn't work because you have to like double Wally and you can't play two supporter cards. So really, I don't think you need Flowstones and switches. I guess it's okay if you do miss, but I'd rather have the extra Fire Energies to attach, and that's what we're gonna use instead. So uh, Super Rod get back Energies as well, Pokemon just in case. So four Ultra Ball, four Via Seeker, and four Verbic City Gems. Now this is where it might be too much. You could play three. Um. But hey, I like to get the guarantee poison. I mean, if you just like hot poison, you automatically poison them. In the Verbing City Gym, you could do like 30. So you're essentially doing 50 um, with just a bird and everything, which is still really good um, in between turns. 
And if they flip Talos, they take another 50, and then, and then they're up to 100 HP, so that could be really nice. Uh, one AZ to return po one Pokemon back in your hand, but you do have to discard all those cards attached to it. But this is going to help you reuse uh, Salazzle for the most part. Uh, one Bridget, I mean, if we get a turn one Bridget, we can search for two Salazzles and a Vulpix. I mean, all of a sudden, like, Top Lele has open doors for Bridget. I don't know why we didn't play this at first. I mean, in expanding, like, these decks aren't really that good, thanks to Archeops. Archeops kind of shuts the deck down, like, a whole lot. And even with the Hex, Maniac, and Wobbs, you still just lose, unfortunately. Uh, three in, four Juniper. We can play for Juniper because we aren't expanding. And one Kikui. Like I said, we have a lot of damage mo like damage modifications, like a Kikui, Choice Band, uh, Verbeek City Gem. Uh, of course, Verbeek City Gem allowing two more damage counters for Poison Pokemon in between turns. Really good. Choice Band do a 30 to GX or EX, which is really nice. It makes Silver Bangle unplayable now. Like, if you're playing Silver Bangle, I'd be like, why? Why are you playing a Silver Bangle? That is like 100% what I'll ask you. And uh, 8 Fire Energy. And that's going to be the Nine Tail Salazzle deck. Like I said, if you have another suggestion on how to play Salazzle, let me know. I think the only way we can really play it is with Nine Tails and Expanded. Um, but even then, Amoongus is probably might be a little bit better. Um, it is cool to get the burn and. Poison instead of confusion because like I said confusion is a coin flip while burn is automatic now thanks to the new rules But guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video uh, This deck is a lot of fun especially when you play against EX's you can easily like overwhelm them and take down the games pretty quickly But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and let's see the deck in action Alright, so what do you Caleb Brassion uh, playing a grass and a psychic deck now? This is grass Pokemon that is good for us because we are fire and, uh, you know, grass is weak to fire, so that's good. Alright, so the call on the coin flip, I mean, we just need Salazzle and Nine Tails to be best friends and work together. Uh, can they do it or not? I'm not sure. I'm not sure at all. So we lost coin flip, that's bad, because we need to go first to put down multiple Vulpixes and Salandites. Alright, alright, alright. And what are we playing against? I, I don't know. I do not know. So, the choosing who goes first. I mean, obviously, you always want to go first. Alright, so yep, there it is. My opponent's going first. He has Celebi Sleaze, Bulbasaur. Okay, we'll get a Mulligan and press done. We'll get a new hand of seven. Okay, so I'll go away from my opponent's setup. Alright, so he puts out a Pokemon, puts out another Pokemon. Okay, so finds two of them. We'll press done. We'll get a new hand of seven. Okay. And, alright, so we find a Vulpix, a Love Ball for a Salazzle, we get our Salandite, sorry, Salazzle's in our hand right now. And we can Kui for two, but hopefully we top deck like a Bridget, that'd be really cool. Uh, we get three Pokemon down. Yeah, we top deck like Bridget, that'd be really nice. That'd be really nice. Come on, Brigetti Spaghetti. And Ultra Ball really good as well, we can use Ultra Ball for Top Lele to guarantee that. Alright, we have a couple outs. So, there's a Tauros and a, uh, and a Rallet. That's not good, um, because that means Decidueye Vileplume. Uh-oh. Alright, so Ultra Ball discards a Gloom and Vileplume. Get a Rylet. Okay, okay, alright, alright. But like I said, he is he is weak to fire. He is weak to fire. Alright, so Trainer's Mail. Maybe, he, okay, he has to have, like, a supporter card in hand, because he does Ultra Ball to grab a Rylet or a Shaman. Okay, so Shaman coming down. Gonna set up for four new cards, okay. Just gotta hope he does not find Vileplume ever. So Sycamore, okay, uh, discards a Gloom, so two Glooms, a Dartrix, and a Vileplume in the discard pile, okay. There's a DCT active, which is not good, because Horn Attack one-shots us. Good, good. Force Giant Plants, good, great, great. Alright, it's a Force Giant Plants coming down. Uh-oh. Alright. There's an Ultra Ball, gonna discard two cards from his hand, we'll probably see. Ooh, he discards a Revitalizer. Right, that's one revitalizer we do not have to worry about, and he's gonna grab a Dartrex, which means he has a Shaman in hand. You gotta think he does. A Dartrex coming down. Decidueye, great, and Shaman for six. Oh, gotta get that feather off first. Alright, so feather 23 active. And Shaman for six. High five opponent, get it get there. Alright, so Shaman for six new cards. I am I am very scared though. Alright, so trainer's mail. Alright. Alright, I, I, I thought we were going to play against the Southern Random, but it turns out we are not. We're playing against one of the best decks. So, there's a Love Ball. Does he get a second Decidueye? If he gets a second Decidueye, we're in trouble here because he can knock out Vulpix. 
Next turn, and then Horde Attack to knock out whoever. There's a Dartrex, okay. Alright, Dartrex coming down. I am very scared right now. Oh, an Ultra Ball for a second to Sidious, which is terrible, because now he can Horde Attack. Oh boy, he could take four prize cards next turn, or two prize cards next turn. Alright, so we need a top deck. A Bridget here. Alright, so on our turn, get it easy. That's not good. All right, so a Kikui for two. It's gotta be the best Kikui we've ever done in our in our life. Come on, Kikui. All right, that was a pretty good Kikui. So put down Vulpix, Vulpix, well, Love Ball for a uh, Salandite. Okay, we'll put that guy down. Put a Fire Dungeon active, and we will Singe to burn him. Alrighty, so there we go. Take a 20 damage to burn. Take that. And heads, he's not burning anymore. Great. <laughs> Alright, still in our opponent's turn. I mean, he can feather out the active for the knockout. We'll send a Vulpix. He can horn attack that. But then we have Slandite. I mean, Salazzle. We got a Fighter G. We could knock out Tauros next turn. Alright, so Feather Arrow. 20 to the active. Taking a knockout. Okay, saw that coming. We'll send up the Vulpix. Go get him, Vulpix. Get him, boy. All right. So, uh, does he have a, if he has a Lysander, I mean, he doesn't knock out Salandite unless he, ooh, puts on a Rally. That's good for us. Do not have to worry about uh, Vulp, uh, whatever. So, 20 damage short Salandite. Don't you dare Lysander him up. No, point attack for 60. Okay. All right. Can we do this? We'll send a Vulpix. On our turn, we need to draw like a beast and top your Lele top deck. That's what I'm talking about. So, put down Salazzle. Um, yes, I will. Okay, we will fire energy, put down top Lele. We will search deck for supporter card. We'll grab a juniper, discard our hand, draw on seven and new cards. We could play it in, but uh, I'd rather dig for more. So, with juniper, discard our hand, draw seven new cards. What do we find here? And all right, so we find a nine tails, put that down. We can ultra ball. I uh, no, I will not like to do that. Thank you very much. I will Ultra Ball. Um, hmm. Let's see here. We get this card, Verbig and the Juniper. We grab a Shaman. Okay. Yeah, we'll grab a Shaman. We'll put down Force of Giant Plants, and we will Shaman for four new cards. Looking for Salandite. Um, that'd be really good, and we find it. So we'll love ball for Slandite, okay. Cool, we're doing okay right now. So we'll grab Slandite, we'll put that down, and we will Hax Flame. Uh, we'll VS Seeker for a Juniper, and VS Seeker for a Z. Okay, yeah, we'll put these two cards in our hand, and we will Hax Flame for the knockout. Yep, 130. All right, no, we don't take it. Okay, there we go. Whew, we do it 180. Good, 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 188. Okay, yep. Yeah. So take two prize cards. We get a N and a fire energy. All right, so under our point of story, can he take a knockout? No, he actually cannot. Unless, yeah, if he finds, oh, we're, we are going places right now, guys. I don't know where, but we are going somewhere. Um, does Situa cannot knock us out next turn? So is he shame come up onto our opponent's turn? Okay. Alright, so there's a Lugia. Okay, Lugia can knock us out. Oh boy. Kit and Caboodles. Alright, DC to the bench. Flux on the active 2040, 60, 80, 100. Alright, so see number one. Okay, great. Fantastic. Uh, we did not find another Vulpix, obviously. Alright, I mean, we have what? Two in the discard pile, three in the discard pile, and we'll see Air Ball for the knockout. Okay, so going out of three prize cards. So, we'll send a top of Lele. Okay. All right. So, on our turn, we need uh, okay, That's not a super rod. So, we'll put down Salazzle to burn and uh, poison the active. Yes. Okay. Um, we will... 20, 40, 60, 80, 120. <laughs> All right. So, I mean, he could deep hurricane next turn, which is really bad. Uh, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120. All uh, right, now I'm just going to Juniper, just discard our hand, draw seven new cards. Okay. All right. So we find a Vulpix. We put that down. We can Super Rod to shuffle some 
Uh, Vulpix, Vulpix. And a Ninetales in our deck. Um, okay, so put those three in there. And we will pass on to our opponent's turn. Uh, the only downside is we can't attack Lugia next turn. Um, <laughs> Alright, so you take a bunch. Okay, so Talos of Poison is still there. That's great. Fantastic. Okay. Um, the only downside is, I mean, he can, like, put pressure on the Vulpix. Like, just start sniping it. Which is not good. Um... Yeah, I should attach the fire to, I mean, the fire to the active snakes to make him retreat and attack with Vulpix. So he's going to retreat to a Shaman. Okay. That's fine with me. We'll see Feather on number one to the Tapu Lele. Okay. Feather on number two to the Tapu Lele. That's fine with me. And a Trainer's Mill. Okay. All right. There's a, a Sigmar going in their hand. So Revitalizer. Oh, boy. All right, so you can grab a Dark Trek Develop him. I do not care about that. I mean, he can find a third Decidueye, and if he does, he'll really regret not putting the pressure on the Vulpix. So, Flowstone to the uh, Lugia, and a Sycamore, discard his hand, draw seven to guards, okay? All right. Uh, there's a uh, Forest Giant Plants coming down, okay. And there's a third Decidueye coming down, which he could put another 20 on the active, and he's going to, okay, I don't know what that really does. Um, all right. I mean, we can't knock out the active, which is the only annoying thing right now. Hmm. All right, so on our turn, okay? So we get an N. Okay. He has two flow stones, okay? I'm going to put a choice bin on this guy, put down a Verbic City Gem, and I want to Juniper discard our hand, draw seven new cards. Okay, so let's see what do we find here. We found a Fire Energy, Computer Search, Nine Tails, and a Salaz. All right, so I'm gonna put down Nine Tails. I am going to, um, yes, I'm gonna bring up a Decidueye. Okay. <sighs> hmm. So I'm gonna put down Salandite. I'm gonna Fire Energy the Active. I'm gonna fire to do the bench night deals actually and just pass it to our opponent's turn, okay? Alright, so on our opponent's turn. Mm. Okay, alright, alright, alright. Let's see what happens. Let's see what can happen. We have a full bench, unfortunately, so that's not good. Obviously, that's not good. Alright, so Flo oh, he plays a third Floodstone. Are you kidding me right now? Alright, that could be almost game. Um twenty I mean he still can't make a knockout with the active, so see a a, a, a a grass energy on the bench. We see feather out to the active. Okay, he could do bring it up to one twenty, and then, oh, he can win the following turn. Great, unless he doesn't find a four. Unless he doesn't find his fourth DCE. All right, so pass on our turn. Okay, so we'll put down Salazzle. Okay, um, yeah, we'll do all that stuff to the active. Okay, we are going to computer search. Discard one. And two for a sycamore. Okay, I made juniper. All right, we'll grab juniper. We will fire to the active and sycamore juniper discard our hand, draw seven cards. Okay, so we get a devolution spray. So we'll re retreat into the nine tails. We'll devolution spray, pick up the salazzle. And we will haxed flame. Okay. If he has a DC, he can win this turn. So do 150, go down two price cards. There's one and two. We get a Night Tails and a Fire Energy. Okay. If he has a DC, he can win this turn. If he does not, we're going to be okay. Does he find his fourth and final DC? It could be prized, but he's going to take two price cards with the uh, Rage Leafs. Okay. All right. We've done all we can. It's up to our opponent. Force Giant Plants coming out. Don't care about that. So they're on number one. Okay, he has used all three feather arrows on the bench top Lele. Feather arrow number two. And a feather arrow number three coming down. All right, so we're going to do 180 damage to our top Lele. Does he find a DC or not? One prize card left. All right. I mean, he could treat the Rallet, and that would be terrible. So Lysander, Ring of a Shaman. Okay. 
He could have retreated that turn. Oh my goodness. So put down a fire energy. We will retreat into the Ninetales. We will play down the Salazzle. We will do all the effects. And I don't know why he didn't retreat. Yes, I will do all the stuff to the active. And I will Hex Flame for the knockout. Oh my goodness, why did he not retreat? I have no idea. And there's a fish screen. We take down this situation opponent, make a huge misplay. And man, all right. So the only thing we, we, we realized that game is we probably need we probably need to save our bench space. It is kind of tight, but oh my goodness, we just took down a Decidueye deck. We didn't even knock out a Decidueye. We knocked out like I don't even know who we knocked out. But he was triple feather on it, and we're still able to take down a situation. Maybe that's how scary this deck is. I don't know why he didn't retreat. If he retreated, he would have. Well, maybe he. I don't know. I don't. I really don't know. Maybe he thought we had a Lysander in hand. I don't know. We don't play the Lysanders like we saw. We don't play any Lysanders, which we should probably play one just in case of the situation. But we'll see another game with a Salazzle deck here in a second. I don't know what our opponent is doing, but we'll take that all day, every day. Alright, guys. We'll see you in the next game. Okay. Alright, so printing is victorized. Oh, no. They're playing Night March. Um... Oh, oh boy. Um, I'm pretty sure they're playing Night March. Like, that's usually what Psychic and like Lightning means. So, yes, yeah, so we'll go first. Alright, so. Hey, so we get a mulligan. Oh, no, we don't get a, we don't get a mulligan. What am I talking about? Alright, so we get a Love Ball. We grab a Vulpix. Um, we'll probably have Choice Band the active and just and get a new hand of six. Hope we find more Vulpixes. Maybe another Salazzle or another Salandite. We'll press, done, okay. Now, the good thing is we can't knock out their Shamans, but it's going to be a hard matchup for sure all right so jolteon top coco never mind it is not what i thought it was so we might be okay here so we'll love ball for a vulpix okay <laughs> we will put down the vulpix put a fire to g on it choice fan and in for new hand of six all right good so it's not what i thought it was all right so we get a salandite um Put that guy down. We will computer search, discard one and two to grab another Vulpix. Okay. Ooh, we have one Ninetales Bryce. All right, so put down the Vulpix and we'll pass Ultra oh, Opponent's turn. Don't want to put down the second choice band just yet, just in case our opponent does um, play like a Tool Scrapper or Leaf Blower or Wind Blower, whatever you call it. Okay. All right, so setting up here, we got we got two of each guys, which is what we want. We got a choice band. We got a juniper next turn. We got a lightning energy going to the active. Okay, now we can easily one shot this Jolteon. Um, we don't even need the choice band if I remember correctly. Yeah, we don't even need the choice band. So Sycamore discarding a bunch of stuff. Uh, DC a lightning two. An, he didn't even play the ultra balls, which is fairly interesting. Like he could have ultra balled, discarding a shaman a lightning. We see computer search, discarding his hand, draw. Discard two cards from Sand to get any cards out of his deck. Okay. Discard the Lysander via Seeker. Okay. Wonder why he didn't grab anything with Ultra Ball. Like, is he playing an Eels deck, maybe? I, I don't know. This is weird. Alright, so Computer Search gets a card in his hand. Okay. There's a Max Elixir. Okay. Oh, he could swing to one, but he... Alright, so didn't find anything... And just swift for 30. All right. So own our turn. What do we get? We get a love ball. So we'll love ball for a nine tails. Okay. We'll put down the nine tails. We will not bring up the bench Pokemon. We'll keep the nine tails right there. Saying, uh, uh, no, we're fine. We'll keep the active. Put down choice band. And we'll via seeker for a sycamore. Or juniper. Just cut our hand. Draw seven new cards. Can we find a fire energy and a salazzle? And all right. We find both of those. So put down a. Vulpix will Ultra Ball discard one and two. We're gonna grab a Shaman. Okay. Shaman coming down. We'll put a Fire to Junior active. We will retreat into the Ninetales. Put down Salazzle. Uh, do the one with 30 damage. Sure. Yes. Alright, so right now we're doing 5, 10, 11, 12, 30. So we're taking a knockout regardless. I am just going to. A Hax Flame for the knockout. Okay. Uh, 150, Poison, all that kind of good stuff. All right. So, do 180 damage. All right. So, 
Really good. Don't even need uh, the Verbrick City Gem. So take two prize cards. We get a Devolution Spray and a Fighter Jade. Those are fantastic cards to get. We get Devolution Spray. Uh, pick up the Salazzle. Put it back down. We see Tapu Coco come in the active spot. All right. So uh, you can see why this deck is really strong. A Lightning is the active. Okay. We see a Via Seeker. It might play the... Okay, no, going to play Sycamore. Does not have an end in the discard pile, so that's fantastic for us. We can take a Knockout unless he plays a Fear Belt. Uh, he'll have 10 HP left if he does play a Fear Belt. Guess we might need some kind of Total Remover. Oh, we do have... Oh, we have Tapu Koko. I mean, Professor Kikui in our hand. We have Professor Kikui in our hand. So if he does put down a... Uh, what does this do? Take 30 less damage. Alright, but no, that still be a knockout. 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, we'll still take a knockout here. If we find everything. And there's a bitch screen, we take it down. Oh my goodness. Uh we swing turn two for 180. 160 was that what it was? Uh 150, 60, 70, 80. Yeah, we I mean we could have Kakui for the knockout. We could have maybe tried a Shaman. Man, we had a lot of outs. Yeah, I mean, we had the, the Devilish Spray, pick up whatever, put it on Fighter G. We would have we would have taken a knockout going down to four prize cards. I mean, if he had taken a knockout on us, we would have had a like Fighter G, Devolution Spray, Shaman, and we had one nine tails left in the deck and a rescue stretcher. And there we go, guys. There is the um <laughs> the Salazzle Nine Tails deck. But wait, oh, man. Yeah, I'll play one more game of the deck here in a second. We'll see what happens. My name, I think if it's like a just a basic EX deck and we get set up, we should be win the game pretty easily. But we'll see another game with the deck here in a second. All right. All right, so when it gets C4 inch T, okay, this is definitely Nine March. All right, so the big question is can we take down a non EX deck? And I want to say probably not. Oh, we probably struggle with some now. He is going to let us go first because he's playing Nine March, okay? Okay, so. Press done. All right. I'm gonna put down Bullpix, put down uh, Salandite. Okay. We'll press done. Because what we can do is Fighter G the bench and then Shaman for a couple. All right. So we see Lampant. Uh, also, like Salazzle just takes a knockout on like Lampants and Joltix and stuff by or Bunker Boots by itself. That's really good. Oh, no, you don't talk about Bunker Boots. All right. Yeah. We'll draw from a Logan. There's a uh, Fabric City Gem. Press done. Okay. And there's a Mew. So we'll put a Fire to G. We'll put down the Verbic City Gym. And we will shame in 4-2. Okay. Alright. So we get a... Oh, that's, a, oh, that's terrible. Alright, so press done. That is a ter terrible hand. Terrible, terrible hand. Which is what I expect sometimes with this deck. Uh, to clump together and you kind of just have bad hands. Alright, so town map. I'm going to see the prize cards. There's teammates, Ultra Ball, Lightning, DC, Dimension Valley, and Random Receiver. Alright, so Juniper. Uh, so right now they're doing 40, which, I mean, he just needs one Battle Compressor. There's an Ultra Ball. I mean, this can disc. Okay, so all right, it's only 40, 60. So he's doing 80. Alright, there's a Shaman coming down. He gets set up for a couple. I mean, if we find a Salazzle, we can take a knockout. There's an Acker Bike. Okay, we can do Venom Shock. Discard the Pumpkin Boo, okay. I think he has plenty of the discard pile. There's a uh, Dimension Valley coming down. Uh, okay, so he gets a Fair Energy. I mean, not Fair Energy, it's like Energy. Why do I always say Fair Energy? I hate you, Sylveon, so much. Alright, so. <laughs> was he a Mew? Trainer's Mill? Alright, so you you just kind of see how Night March is going to be a bad match. Like, we got we, we kind of have like a bad start, regardless, but I mean. Um. This is going to be a hard matchup. So, see a jolt to come down, okay? Uh, he's going to Night March for a billion. Yep. All right, so uh, we're going to send him Slandite here and just hope we draw. I guess I'm fine with drawing a second one right here. I'm fine with that. Not what I wanted. That is not the card I wanted to see. Okay. Um. We can. Alright, so I'm going to put down the Verbic City Gem. I am going to Stretcher to get a, a Vulpix back in our hand, okay? I'm going to put down the Vulpix, Fire Energy, Retreat, and go for the Burn. Alright, I'm going to go for the Burn. Okay, we got to hope it stays Burn. Alright, so Burn. 20. 
Tails, alright, so it stays burned. Now what can happen is he if he attacks, he takes 40, and then he passes, and he gets knocked out, so that's good. So he has to retreat this Mew to have a chance. He didn't take the DC either off the price cards, so that's really good for us. So he acrobites, discards a Joltik. We'll see a Love Ball, okay. For another Joltik, okay. Another Joltik, hit, hit the field. Uh, he's gonna retreat the Joltik, alright, that's not good. And a DC to active, oh no. So we'll see a Night March for the knockout. Start playing. Bamboozle go down to four prize cards. All right, so um, we're sending up the this guy. Uh, game glitch. Thank you. All right, so instead of this guy, we need to hit a uh, a support card. Not what we needed. It's not going good right now. All right, so we'll love ball for Vulpix. No, we'll grab a Slandite. I mean, we are in trouble. Um, this is one of the like reasons why you should maybe play Jirachi over this, because we can level up for Jirachi, so maybe Jirachi might be a little better. Yeah, because, yeah. All right, so... We'll put a Fire Energy on the bench and pass. Oh, guys, I have a bad feeling about this. So maybe Love Ball. Um... I mean, maybe a Jirachi, so that we can play, uh, we can use Love Ball, so there was the Night March for 180, okay. Going down to 3, okay. Ona, our turn. Hey, we got an Ultra Ball, so Ultra Ball will discard 1 to 2. We will grab a Tapu Lele, and we're going to end our opponent down to 3. Now, we are still in, like, really bad situation, for sure. So, yes, we'll grab Tapu Lele, we'll play it in, we'll give us both new hands. He gets 3, we get 6, okay. Grab it in, we'll play that, and we need to find a Salandite plus a Salazzle. All right, so we get one of the two. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna put a Fighter Gym, this guy. I'm gonna put down a Salazzle, okay. Yes. I am going to Ult Ball, um, discard one and two. Press done, we'll grab a Salandite. All right, I'll uh, put that guy down, and we'll pass for the knockout. There we go. All right, so we'll go down to five prize cards, but he can take a knockout, and then we send a Tapu Lele. Tapu Lele takes the knockout. All right, there's Kikui, so Kikui. Good, draws two cards. We see a Mew coming up. All right, that's not good. Do not want Mew to come up. We need this Joltik to come up. All right, he's compressed there. Discard three cards off his deck. He is down, what, just one DCE, one of the one of the bench, and I don't know how I'm feeling about this match. All right, so we see a random receiver. Going to flip over cards. He finds a Lysander. He going to Lysander the Shaman. Um, take a Night March knockout. There's a DC to bench, and that is going to be game. Um, he should Lysander right now and go down to one prize card. Bring the top of Lele. We'll swing for the Night March. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be a game there. He's going to go down to one. Okay, so. <sighs> uh, all right, so we'll send up a uh, Slandite. Okay. <laughs> uh, we find a Juniper, so we will. Yeah, the DC in the bench is just going to kill us anyway. So what is Juniper trying to find a Salazzle? At least take a knockout. Okay, so we don't find that. Great. Yep, and we pass for the game. So yeah, I mean, uh, Night March definitely a hard matchup. So what we learned today is that you can take down EX decks. We didn't really get set up game number three, but that is going to happen a lot with this deck for sure. Like get to find a bunch of basics and like fun stage one stuff like that. That's where the deck is going to struggle, and you are going to struggle against these non EX decks. They're so fast they can just take you down. But if you are playing against a straight EX deck, you can definitely take them down. Like we took down the Sidui, we took down the Jolteon, Tapu Coco thingy, whatever was going on. And in this game, well, Nightmarsh kind of destroyed us. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully learn something new about the Salazzle, um, Salazzle deck. Maybe, maybe it'd be good. I don't think it's gonna be that good. It, it is a lot of fun. Just do a ton of damage, just burn and poison and just take knockouts that way. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great Thursday. Alrighty. Bye. Alright guys, I just want to give a quick shout out to our three sponsors, 60 Cards, Yeti Gaming, and the Pokemon Company International. Links to everything will be down below in the description. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty.